Hey, welcome to uh, UAV Skies. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how you can flash the Free Sky R9M2019 external module, which is your long range uh, transmitter module for Free Sky radios. And how do you flash the R9 Slim plus OTA receiver? And after flashing, we're going to bind it and show you how you can get it up and running in no time. All right. So first thing we do, we go to FreeSky website and we're going to download uh, the latest firmware. So you select R9M 2019. All right. And next, we're going to download Access Firmware. And we download the latest version, which is 1.3.0. All right, it's been downloaded. Next thing we're gonna do is to go back. And this method you can apply to pretty much all the transmitter modules and receivers. And we're gonna go to receivers uh, and select on 900 megahertz online. We go to online slim plus OTA. All right, again, we go to access firmware and we download the file. Once the SIF files are downloaded, simply go to your computer, hard drive, unzip the files and store them into some folder. So in my case, I'm just gonna put it in the receivers. Okay, this is my receiver folder. So this is where I have the online OTA receiver file unzipped. Okay, these are the files. And next, we have also unzipped the transmitter files. And here's the transmitter file, access firmware, and these are your files. Next thing what we do, you use a USB cable, plug it at the back of your transmitter. So you can first turn on the transmitter. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. Okay. We go to the main menu, plug in the USB cable at the back of the unit. connected next at the front is going to ask you how do you want to use your radio i'm going to say just use it as a storage usb and now i can actually see the contents of the sd drive on the sd card inside the radio and all we have to do after this is that you copy those two folders where you unzipped the firmware for the receiver and the transmitter, the entire folders, just like that, okay? Simply copy it to your SD card. Once it's copied, all right, we disconnect the USB cable, okay? And then we go into models, I'm sorry, system. And then we go to firmware. Okay, now you can see the two firmwares. So first we're gonna flash the transmitter module. We select that and always select flex.frk firmware. What this firmware does, it allows you to support multi-protocols, okay? Next, we're going to select and we're gonna say flash external module. 
and and this is gonna start fleshing it. It takes roughly about one to two minutes for this to flesh. Okay, so we're just gonna time ellipse this. Okay, it's almost done. It's getting there. You can see at the back that it's flashing. The lights are flashing. That means it's doing fantastic. And, and it says flash successful. And after that, we press enter and we're done. Now, the next step is that we want to flash the receiver. So we exit out of here, go back to systems, then we go to firmware, oops, we go to system, we go to firmware, we scroll down, and we're gonna, this time we're gonna select this one. All right, so the easiest way to flash the receiver is that here's the wiring diagram, okay? For receiver to be flashed properly, we need VCC wire, uh, sorry, on this side, CON1, VCC wire, the ground wire, and we also need the S port, which is the second wire from the VCC. So I made a cable, all right, and connected a standard servo cable to it. And But at the back of the radio, you have to be careful how you wire this, all right? So at the back of the radio, next to the uh, <clears throat> USB port, you have an S port. And the pinning of this S port is kind of weird. You This pin on the far right side is ground, the middle is positive, and the far left is signal. All right, so you have to make sure when you connect these wires from the receiver to this cable is done correctly. All right, so we're gonna connect this at the back of this S port. Connected. All right. Now, if you notice, there's no lights on on the receiver. And there's a reason because the S port right now is currently disabled. Next, once we are into the configuration, we're gonna scroll down and select OTA flex because we flash the transmitter with flex. So we wanna do the same thing for the receiver. We go in there and this time we're gonna select the first option which is flash S port device. And you will notice that receiver now is powered up and the system has started to write the firmware to the receiver. We're gonna give it a minute and come back to it. All right, it's almost done as you can see that. And once it's completed, it's gonna say flash successful, right? You just press enter and we're done. You unplug. <clears throat> receiver from the transmitter and the last step of this process that how do we bind it okay, so I made this a special cable just for flashing and that's why the pinning because the pinning at the back of the S port is completely different okay now to power it up and connect it to any flight controller we will use another cable uh, for binding and connecting to the flight controller. Now to bind the receiver with the transmitter, what we have to do is to first need to go to the models, right? We are gonna scroll down. And over here, you have to select R9M access, okay? And then next we, these are the different options we have. Okay, so we're gonna select online access and automatically selects channel one to 16. And the step one is that we need to register it. To register, you put the radio into the register mode and you can hear the radio starts to beep. The next thing we wanna do is that before you power up the receiver, you wanna hold down this little button and then 
you power up the receiver. All right. Now, when you power up the receiver while holding down the button, you will notice the transmitter automatically picked up the online slim OTA. All we have to do is scroll down to enter and then press the enter. And now you can see they have successfully registered the receiver. It's not binded yet. Now the next step, you move the knob, it's gonna say registration, okay. Then you scroll down I already binded it before, so we're gonna redo it. So I'm gonna delete the previous bind. Okay, next I select receiver one, I select bind. Now before I select bind, I'm gonna power off the receiver, okay? You power it off, then you go into bind. It's gonna start to beep again. And this time, I'm gonna simply power up the receiver. And it picked up the online Slim O. You press enter, and you're gonna select 915 megahertz because we are in North America. And... Telemetry recovered. See, now we have the full tele telemetry recovered and the receiver is fully fine. That's it, it's very simple. You follow these steps you will not get lost read the manuals uh, the wiring is critical to the receiver so i would you know each receiver comes with two set of cables so i have made one just to connect power it up to the flight controllers and this other cable i have made just for flashing uh, the receiver i hope this video helps thank you